Said in the Milan. quiet club here but we're here at the Blue Note uh, Jazz Club here in Milan Italy and we are about to sit down for a beautiful dinner and reception as the commencement of the uh, Monaco Growth Forum which starts tomorrow I'll be getting up here in just a few minutes um, to introduce John Nigerian as he is the keynote speaker tonight and uh, Looking forward to seeing what he talks about. I know he's going to be talking about blockchain and cryptocurrency in the traditional finance world and how that, uh, the potential within that, within that industry. So a lot of educational things are going to be delivered tonight, I think, and very exciting to see someone of his stature, um, you know, as a proponent of, of crypto. So, yeah, we're excited. Thank you, John. Uh, hello. It's great to be out here in Milan, uh, especially as an Italian-American. Um, as John mentioned, my name is Nick Sabanero, uh, and I'm the co-founder and one of the developers at uh, the Divi Project. Um, and you know, I'm going to talk about Divi a lot tomorrow. Uh, I have a presentation tomorrow, and I hope you guys can attend that. Tonight, I just want to talk about blockchain. And blockchain, to me, uh, is very important. I've been a trader and uh, I've been studying blockchain and cryptocurrencies for about four years now. And blockchain, it's an amazing technology of which cryptocurrency is one of many use cases. And I think that's important to mention because, you know, blockchain and the cryptocurrency, they kind of, they become synonymous, right? But they're not. Uh, a lot of people think that blockchain is cryptocurrency and vice versa. Uh, it's almost like saying that email is the one true use case for the internet, which, I mean, back in, back in the early 90s, that generally was the case. You really could only use the internet for email and poorly. Um, <laughs> and uh, over time, these incredible minds developed this exceptional technologies, all these exceptional technologies using the internet. Uh, and now we can do everything from turn our lights on in our house, to speak to someone who's thousands of miles away over the internet. And I, I really feel that blockchain and the internet are a direct analog. Uh, much like the budding internet in 1991, blockchain has this great potential, but it's got a long way to go before it reaches a mainstream audience, which is very, very important. Um, and again, much like the internet, blockchain offers many use cases, not only for the big banks and corporations, but for the average everyday person. Um, you know, it really, it presents probably the most substantial opportunity for wealth generation in human history. Uh, and it offers and connects people who otherwise are underserved or don't have the, the connection to financial services. Uh, you know, blockchain does that, cryptocurrency does that. Uh, and that's, to me, that's what I'm most passionate about. Um, and I won't take up too much of your time. I know we're all probably hungry. Uh, I just wanted to quickly introduce myself, and I hope to see you guys all tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, John. Nick. Thank you very much. It's funny because a project that 
create something so simple is actually quite complex on the back end. Um, so we've spent months just planning and scoping out exactly every single feature that will be incorporated into our protocol and into our uh, consumer-facing smart wallet.